Today I messed up, reading a manuscript my ex-girlfriend wrote. A few days ago I, 28 male, got an email from my ex-girlfriend, 25, with the subject line, I did it, thanks to you. The email had an attachment, the attachment was a manuscript, the manuscript was an autobiography written by my ex-girlfriend, the title of the autobiography instantly took me back to the time when my ex-girlfriend and I were still dating. I was sensually inexperienced back in those days whereas my ex-girlfriend had more than enough sensual experience, we enjoyed talking about past relationships and what the lovemaking was like, it was never a thing in our relationship, just casual conversation, my ex-girlfriend had more stories to tell and all of them were entertaining, I remember joking about how she should someday write a book, we laughed, made love, and a few months later, our relationship came to an end, it was sad, but alas, life continued. We're now back in the present, I finished reading the manuscript an hour ago, there were 72 chapters, each chapter was about an individual person my ex-girlfriend had known centrally, no real names were mentioned, only character labels, like the surfer, the biker, the jock, the older man, etc., some of the stories and characters I actually remembered based on the details my ex-girlfriend shared with me during our relationship, others were totally new, but new or not, it was fun to read, until I made it to chapter 39, my chapter, The Turtle. Keep in mind, all the sensual partners my ex-girlfriend mentioned in her manuscript had something specific about them that made the love-making memorable for her, for example, the surfer always smelled like the ocean, which never failed to turn her on, the biker had gang tattoos from the neck down, but the one tattoo that always made her rip his clothes off was his pet hamster tattoo, then there was me, a guy who couldn't swim, let alone surf, no tattoos, and with practically zero sensual experience at the time, what was so memorable about me? Well, according to my chapter, the answer was my adorably small schlong, my ex-girlfriend described how she had almost forgotten what it felt like not to choke during oral, before she met me, she compared my schlong to the head of a baby turtle, thus my chapter and character name, based on what I was reading, not only did I have the smallest schlong compared to all the other people she's dated, but I also had the only schlong that somehow managed to look too innocent for lovemaking, it didn't come across as if my ex-girlfriend was purposefully trying to insult me, but come on, I think most people can understand what a sensitive topic schlong size can be to any guy who's not hung like a horse, I still need to contact my ex-girlfriend and provide my feedback, but I'm gonna need some time to process what I read, it's not every day someone writes a book about your small schlong. Welcome back, insecurities I didn't think I would have at this age.